Okay, I'm gonna blow up this air bed and see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna use a battery powered option on this pump. It's charged up, charged up for a few hours. You gotta take this out for it to operate, otherwise, it won't do anything. That shuts it off, this orange thing. Plug that out, and then you can turn it on. And it's mega loud, like a shop vac almost. Um, definitely easy to wake up everyone around you if you're doing it when folks are sleeping. But uh, here it goes. This is the, uh, the um, air filling up area is on the side. I use these for tents a lot. Two of these fit in a 10 by 10 tent perfectly. Um, with a nice little bit of space by the feet to put your bags and stuff. But uh, airing it up on the side kind of a little awkward. Um, you usually have to probably move it around, twist it, fill it up, and put it back. Uh, when it's, I have some other ones that air up at the bottom, which work a lot better. You just put them in place, pump it up, good to go. But here, let's go over time how long it takes to air it up. I do know my uh, other ones with uses uh, batteries, the uh, not rechargeable one. Takes a good five, six minutes to uh, pump up. So, I think the middle one here fits. Snug it down. And then turn it on. Here we go. I'm going to start a timer so you can see. self-closing latch so it's not leaking out right now unless you undo this other ring here this secondary seal to keep it nice and sealed for the night there we have it looks like it was about three minutes uh, to uh, get it all filled up nice and uh, firm it is firm Again, this, uh, two of these will fit very nicely in a six-person tent. A uh, six-person tent is about 10 foot by 10 foot square. And they'll give you a couple feet, usually, uh, at near your feet uh, of space for bags and stuff you want to keep dry inside your tent. Um, but the, the other function you could do with the pump is uh, hook up the other way and suck the air out. Just suck it down nice and tight so you can pack it back away in the bag. So let's do that. See how long it takes to suck it down. Timer, get that going. Okay. There you go. Just over a minute, a minute twenty. Um,
Tight. There we go. There you can go back in the bag. Little one pumps it up. This one possibly you might be able to use this one to insulate it. Um, then you have your pump. Every little orange thing which turns disables the pump for storage. Easy to lose, but uh, it's nice to have because if you stick it in your bag and it hits that, it won't turn on. It'll only turn on if this is removed from here. So, that's kind of a nice feature. But I wish it. Uh, was uh, not so easy to lose because it's just a small little piece. You got your 12 volt car adapter for charging or running the pump. You got your wall adapter for running and charging the batteries in the pump. And you got your bag. How's that? I wish there's another little bag to hold these, but I'm gonna throw it in a Ziploc or something and toss it in the bag so it all stays together. There you have it.